So I'm having a bit of a tidy up. I cleared this shelf and you can see it's absolutely filthy. So I'm going to try out this guy. So I picked this up uh, the other day, I've not yet unboxed it because I've just not had time. Um, it's probably not going to be anything particularly fancy considering it was like 30 quid from uh, a well-known low price supermarket. But if it gets me by in the meantime then uh, great, I think it would probably be suitable for the amount of time I can actually spend in here. Um, but like I said, we'll give it a go, I mean on paper the spec is as good as the more expensive brands but obviously you never you, you kind of get what you pay for don't you so we'll see what happens okay so let's take a look inside Accessories, got like a brush thingy. Um, so we've got it seems to be millions of casters, aren't we? We've got about six casters and screws and stuff, and a bag, and another filter. Cool. So something annoying is that I found that the dust port on my miter saw is exactly the same size as the hose sort of inlet. So that's annoying. So what I've got is this kind of one size fits all connector thingy and I'm gonna have to cut it down because this bit fits on there and I think this bit will fit in there based on my rudimentary measurements. Um, whereas obviously this is way too small. Uh, but this should fit snugly, this sort of second one down. So I'm going to cut that up, give it a go, and hopefully not be really frustrated and annoyed. So you'll see that I've got that adapter in. Um, I did have some issues because it turns out that the sort of second bit was actually slightly too big, whereas this would have been too small. So I had to kind of carve a channel down it and then squeeze it together and remove a bit of material. Uh, to get it to fit but it's in now and I'm not planning on removing it anytime soon although I need to check whether the hose bit will connect with my orbital sander or whether I need to get another one of these connector thingies but anyway one step at a time let's give it a test cut so I've just got this bit of scrap um, and I'm going to uh, flip the vacuum on so you can see there's still quite a bit of dust coming out. Now, I'm obviously new to all this, so I don't know if that's normal for a mitre saw. You know, I, I get the feeling it is, because people build these huge, great big like, cupboards to surround their mitre saw and all the rest of it. Um, so I, th I, think it's, I think it's better than it was before. Um, and that's kind of all we can ask for really, isn't it? So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I've been using this bad boy for a few days now um, and it's actually uh, pretty good to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean it wasn't great for the mitosaur, but I think that mitosaur, not much of it goes actually into the dust port anyway. I'm, I'm not going to be doing a review on the uh, Einhell mitosaur that I've got, yeah, to be honest. It was, it was cheap and I should have gone for the next one up quite frankly. Uh, and it's doing fine for what I need really, but uh, would I choose it again? No. Uh, but this guy, 30 quid, and so far, so good. So just to wrap up, yeah, I've been using it for about a week or so. I'm pretty happy with it. It does exactly what it says it should do. 
I haven't used it in wet mode before. I've only really vacuumed up uh, like dust around the workshop and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, as I say, so far so good. Um, so I'm hoping to do some more interesting videos in the future. Um, I've got a couple in mind, um, including the Thomas the Tank Engine stool that I'm making for my son. Um, so if you want to see the video of that, if you want to see any other future videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. You know the drill. And on that note, goodbye.